Yep. Well, I think what you know, um, what I'm looking for is 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 that constant push, pressure, um, and and growth. Um, I want you know, I want to be more demonstrative. I want to be more in, in their face, Adam, stuff like that, and that's pretty much what we've accomplished. Right. So, like. You know, because he worked under Sam, but right. you feel like there's going to be like a different kind of vibe. Well, yeah, I'm looking for a different, yeah. different vibe, style, different vibe. You know, a little difference in, in, in my philosophy on how I think it, it needs to be coached. How did some of the players responded now that Scanina's in charge? Well, I just think they've accepted and understood that this is something that I did, and, and you know, with what I think is in, in our best interest. And you know, I think they've adapted and handled it very well. Was there any question from them about timing just a couple days before preseason? No, no. I, I mean, that's the thing I appreciate is, you know, these guys pretty much, they do their, they do their thing. And, um, you know, they're professionals. They understand. Uh, I love what Jonathan said, you know, football is a great sport, but it's a tough business. Were you surprised that, you know, Sam was with you for so long. Yep. So the, the philosophical part of difference is he was a guy that seemed like he knew yep. what you wanted and stuff. So I guess were you surprised that it just kind of unfolded that way? Well, you know, again, I have to look and, and, and make decisions based on what I think is best. Um, Trey Turner hasn't been out in a while now. Just, do you have any right. update on what he's dealing with? No, he, he, he's dealing with a quad, and he's a veteran guy. I mean, if he was a younger guy, yeah. he'd probably be doing a lot more than he's done right now um, because he's a veteran guy. He knows how, you know, he knows our system. Um, he knows the techniques that, that we need. There's not a need to push him out there a lot sooner. He's doing a lot of work, doing a lot of work inside. Um, today was, I think, the first day he was really outside doing some work. I don't know if you guys saw him over in the corner. But uh, for the most part, Nick, it, 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 like I said, if he was a younger guy in his yeah. third, fourth year, he, he'd probably been outside a few days uh, ago. But we're taking our time with a veteran guy. With somebody like that, a veteran who knows the system well, do you even risk putting him in preseason games? Well, we'd like to get him, you know, in, 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 in at least, you know, one, get a nice series, get himself ready, because conditioning is very important. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and again, we expect him probably out here, you know, in, in probably within the next 10 days. Okay. Um, but, again, he's a veteran guy, and yeah. so we don't have any concern okay. as far as that's concerned. Along those same lines, Chase really, how has he looked coming back? Chase progressed very well, in fact. Uh, in fact, yesterday we got a little carried away and we, we had him out there a little bit longer than we should have. But he came in and he said, you know, I'm glad we did that. And I'm thinking to myself, we did it on accident. But we pushed him a little bit. And, and he came out, felt great, felt great this morning. Um, but because this was, this was a, a scheduled, you know, get him out, you know, get him in early, get him out early day, that's what we did with him. Last one, I'll stop hogging the mic. But, um, do you feel like this group on the O-line can be as consistent and as deep as the one you had last year? Oh, I think so. I mean, again, you know, we, we do things with intent. You know, we're, we're looking at how many offensive linemen can we keep on the 53 and how many of those guys will we, will we be able to get back on the practice squad and rotate them. I mean, we were very fortunate last year. It was a very deep group, um, you know, and, and again, led, led, led by Brandon. Um, you know, but we like who we have in terms of Norwell and, and Trey and, and Wes. Uh, we think that gives us three quality guards. For these rookies and young guys who are heading into their first NFL game, are there elements of this week during practice or in the meeting room that will kind of relate to how you would prepare for a regular season game? Most certainly, Mitch. And, and, and today was a little big example. Um, we had three periods where we were strictly off the cards on, on what we're anticipating from Carolina. Um, later tonight, I, I know the coaches will install um, some of the game plan, you know, some of the specific runs, throws, um, defenses that we're going we're gonna to plan to play against these guys. Obviously, you've played Carolina before in Burgundy and Gold, but is there any element of that that as you see them coming, even though it's just a preseason game, you know, you have feelings towards, towards the organization? No, it's just, it's just cool, you know, to see the guys. I mean, you know, we're way past that now. Um, you know, it'd be cool to see Coach Rule and his, his guys. And, you know, um, he's, he's got one of my favorite coaches, Steve Wilkes, is on his staff, who I look forward to seeing. There's several players that I still have a connection to. I look forward to seeing. And if I get an opportunity to say hello to Mr. Tepper, I most certainly will. Hey, Ron, a couple of weeks in now, what are evidences of growing comfort that you've seen with Carson, just with his teammates, with the system, and um, how things are progressing? Well, I think the biggest thing more than anything else is just, you know, watching him continue to work and try and get a feel for that timing with that receiver group. You know, that's one of the hardest things you've got to do because you've got a group of guys terrifically fast, 
uh, but they all have their own speed and quickness. And some guys come out of brakes a little differently than others with a little bit more drive. Some guys, it takes a little build up. And he's got to get used to that as he goes through it. And as you start to see, you know, one minute he's throwing to Terry, who's, 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 who runs a, a specific way. Then he throws the ball to Jahan, who's really smooth at what he does. And then you see him throwing it to Curtis, who's got this, you know, this, this, this explosiveness to him. And it's all three different ways he's got to throw the ball on, on the same route. Now he's still learning, but it's kind of hard to learn when you're also lead when you're also learning at the same time. Yep. How do you feel like he's done there? I think he's done a nice job with it. And I like his command in the huddle. I like when he gets to the line of scrimmage and goes through what he does. Um, and I think he's still getting used to his teammates. You do see some of the, the good natured stuff, you know, when they're inside the, uh, the locker rooms or they're in the, the meeting room, stuff like that. Coach, uh, you mentioned that the five, six, and seven spots of receiver before camp started would be very competitive. Have you seen that competitive that you kind of envisioned? Very much so. Each guy brings something different to the table. Each guy has done some pretty unique things as we've gone through the first two and a half weeks of camp. Um, and, and again, you know, it's one of those tough things that we'll see, have to see how they play. I mean, to, to help make up our minds, it's this, you know, these three games will be real important to a lot of guys. Now, a guy like Dax Milne has also kind of made some really good catches. What have you seen out of Dax over the last couple of weeks? I've seen exactly that. Very consistent player, good route runner, very headsy guy that understands you know, certain things about uh, what we do and how we do it. Um, and he just continues to go out and make catches. Coach, I'm sorry if this is a repeat question, but uh, did you consider – making a change at the defensive line coaching position at the end of last year or any other coaching changes at the end of last season? Um, no, and I'm not going to get into any specifics at this point. What I've seen from Markin is a guy that's a professional that understands how to do things, how to practice, how to prepare. I mean, you know, it's interesting because he, he's a very savvy guy. And it's, for him, it's just about getting the opportunity more than it is anything else. And he's a guy I hope gets, you know, we can get an opportunity or two for him more than that during, during the preseason. I hope he gets a lot of opportunities and, and, and hopefully he can show us what he's capable of doing. All right, cool. Thank you.